A nice clean blanket. One day, Dragon decided it was time to clean Cat's blanket, which was a bit dusty and furry and wrinkly mm. and smelled just a bit funny. <laughs> Cat liked her dusty, furry, wrinkly, and stinky blanket Ooh. just the way it was. <laughs> In fact, she mm. never took a nap without it. <laughs> but maybe Cat will like it even better once it's all nice and fresh and clean. So Dragon quickly washed the blanket and hung it outside in the nice, fresh breeze. I just hope the blanket dries before Cat wants to use it. <laughs> Cat was already looking a bit sleepy. Dragon knew Cat would want her nap soon. But the blanket wasn't ready yet. I'll have to keep Cat busy until her blanket is dry. Hmm. <laughs> Dragon showed Cat some of his best yo-yo tricks. Cat hmm. <laughs> seemed more interested in having a nap. Dragon then did some of his best bird calls. But Cat really wanted to have a nap. Her blanket must be dry by now. He just needed to keep Cat busy while he went out and got it. Dragon gave Cat her favorite thing in the whole house to play with, a wind-up toy. Cat happily played with the toy while Dragon hurried outside to get her blanket. Oh, no. But the blanket was gone. It must have blown away in the wind. Now Cat's blanket was not only nice and fresh and clean, it was lost, too. Hmm. Gone with the breeze. Dragon had washed Cat's blanket. He hoped it would dry before she wanted to take a nap. Hmm. But when he went to take it off the line, hmm. her blanket was gone. Cat was still playing but she would want her blanket soon. But where could her blanket be? He looked up in the tree, but it wasn't there. He looked behind the bush, but it wasn't there either. He looked under a big rock, but Cat's blanket was nowhere to be found. Oh, where could it have gone? Hey, little blue dude. <laughs> Dragon asked Alligator to help him look for the blanket. Alligator noticed that it was a windy day. Uh, I think the blanket, like, blew away in the breeze. But where did it blow away to? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Dragon hoped that Cat would not find the basket out here. Alligator had a very good idea. He hung Dragon's favorite towel on the line. Aha! Now we'll let the wind take it and see where it goes. And the towel will lead us to the blanket. Dragon was a bit worried. He liked his towel. A lot. But if it helps me find Cat's blanket... Dragon agreed to give it a try. Come on. 
Come on! Dragon and Alligator watched as the breeze carried Dragon's towel away. Now, wherever it lands, we'll find Cat's blanket for sure. But how will we know where it lands? Um... Follow that towel! Hey! Um, did you see which way it went? No. Alligator's idea hadn't worked very well after all. Now, not only had Dragon lost Cat's blanket, but his favorite towel, too. And Cat was beginning to feel quite tuckered out. She was going to need her blanket soon. It's raining blankets. Dragon had washed Cat's blanket, and it blew away in the breeze. Alligator tried using Dragon's favorite towel to see where the blanket had blown away to, but now it was gone too. Cat would need her nap very soon. Then Dragon and Alligator set out on their hunt. You look this way and I'll look that way, said Alligator. Dragon hoped he would find the blanket and the towel soon. <laughs> then he saw Beaver, who was carrying a very large umbrella. Dragon wondered why Beaver was holding an umbrella. It's not raining. It sure is. It's raining blankets and towels. At least that's what's coming down in my front yard. Yeah. Dragon was yeah. very happy to hear this. They're still there if you want them. Just a lying on the ground, getting in the way. Yeah. Yeah. But when Dragon got to Beaver's yard, hmm. the blanket and towel weren't there. Hmm. But Beaver said the blanket and towel were lying on the ground. Just then, Mail Mouse came by. Hello! She told Dragon she had seen the blanket and towel. They were on the ground there, getting all dusty. So I put them on Beaver's garbage can. It looked like Dragon had finally found Cat's blanket and the towel. But when Dragon got to the garbage can, the blanket and towel weren't there. Oh, no! <sighs> That's strange. I put them there a while ago. Hmm. Dragon never knew doing laundry could get so complicated. And Cat really wanted to know where her blanket had gone. Wow. Blowing in the wind. Dragon was looking everywhere for Cat's blanket and his favorite towel, which had blown away in the breeze. Beaver and Mail Mouse had found them, but then they got lost again. Dragon really needed to find her blanket. Then Ostrich hurried up. Alligator had told her about the missing towel and blanket. And I found them? You did? I don't know why Beaver was throwing them out. I plucked them right out of the garbage and took them home. Ooh, ooh. Can I come and get them now? <laughs> uh, not quite. Ostrich explained that because the blanket and towel were a bit dusty and furry and wrinkly from being on the ground, she hung them on her clothesline to air out. And they uh, kind of blew away in the breeze. Oh, no. But I think they went that away. I'm a superhero to the rescue. <sighs> Dragon and his friends looked everywhere. But I guess the blanket and towel are gone forever now. Oh. Oh. Dragon thanked his friends for their help and headed home. He hoped Cat wouldn't be too upset that he had lost her blanket. And he tried not to be too upset that he'd lost his favorite towel, too. Then, Dragon saw his towel. 
It must have blown all the way here from Ostrich's house. His towel was all dusty and furry and wrinkly, just the way Cat liked her blanket to be. Dragon decided to give his towel to Cat so she could have a nice nap. But he couldn't see Cat. Hmm. She wasn't playing in the living room. Hmm. Oh, Cat. She wasn't in the house at all. Cat was in the backyard, all curled up in her blanket, which was even more dusty and furry and wrinkly than before Dragon had washed it. Cat's blanket must have blown all the way back home. Now, Cat would be able to have lots of nice naps in her favorite blanket. And Dragon had his favorite towel again, although it really needed a good washing. But this time, I'll hang it to dry inside the house. <laughs> he was a very clever dragon.